Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use projection painting within body paint. What we're going to talk about is how to apply projection painting, what's its uses for, and all the tools that are associated with it. Now I have this model already sculpted out so we can start painting on it. So let's head on over to the body paint layout. And I want to bring in some colors into body paint. The best way that I found to do that is, say, if you have some colors from Photoshop or Illustrator or another program, you can open that up by just Command O. And then what we can do is go to your file. And in this case, colors, we'll go to colors PSD, and that'll open up into your picture viewer. And then we can just dock this to the side here, maybe in the middle. And then if I lower the, uh, the percentage here that we can then have these colors where we can color pick from and start adding it to our model. So I already went through the uh, setup wizard and we have our material set. And if I go to our object, select worm, go to our materials, select our material, and then go to layers, we have our background set. And now say I want to grab one of these colors and apply that to our whole model. So what we can do is we can go to colors. And then if you go down here, we have this little eyedropper. So select that and then choose a color. I'm going to choose this green here. And now I want to fill this background so I can go to our gradient, go to this little uh, fill bucket, and now fill your entire model with, with your color selected. Okay, so in this lesson, I want to talk about projection painting. So if you go to a new layer, and we're going to select a new layer here, I'm going to go to our brushes. And in order to enable projection painting, you go up to uh, our little 3D icon here. Right next to it, you'll see projection painting. So we're going to select that, and you can see that it is now in projection painting with this red border that goes around your viewport. And so if you turn it off, you can see that goes away. Now, we have a few of our buttons that are associated with projection painting. We have detach, apply, and discard projection. If we just have our um, projection painting on, and we uh, select our, our layer, and then we paint. First, let's choose a, a new color. We won't be able to see it. So we're gonna select our eyedropper and choose, say, um, say, a color right next to it. We can choose this one. We go to our layers, select our layer, and then our, we have our brush selected and we can just start painting. So I move around our model and we can see that it's not, nothing is, is really different than our normal painting. So uh, let me undo. And if I select detach button right here, we can then at this point and I, I should point out that I had um, projection painting turned on. You can see the difference in the viewport. This projection painting has uh, this yellowish orange border and the projection, um, excuse me, the detached plane has this red border. So I just wanted to clarify that. So with that selected, and we then paint in. 
and then we rot uh, rotate around our model, we can see that our, uh, and if I pan, you can see a little bit better. You can see that it's not actually connected to our model just yet. And this is helpful if you want to, you have something like a, a mark that you, or a detail that you want to add to your model and you want to move it around and see where it would work best, say like a, a tattoo or a scar or something like that. That type of detail, we can, you can then just move around your model. And then when you're ready to um, apply that, then you can click on this button right next to it, apply projection. Now when you rotate around, you can see that is now connected to your model. So I'm going to select the layer and I'm going to Command Z, undo. Um, now if you were painting with um, detach on and you're moving it around, oops, that's the model. <laughs> And uh, you were you were moving around, and you didn't really like, you know, what you have here. So you can then um, discard projection by clicking on that, and it's going to ask you, do you want to discard? You click yes, and so now that is now deleted, and you can start again. So let's bring in an image to our model and apply that with our projection plane, uh, projection painting, but we'll have detached uh, projection plane on. So let's go to our texture and we can go to file open texture and we can choose a, let's go to our folder and we can choose say a uh, bark and we'll go to our selection tool. If we click and hold, we can choose one of these selections. And I'll make a selection, say like this. Command C to copy. And we'll go to view. And then we'll paste. And that will paste in our, our image. Let's move this around and you can see that we can then move our image around our object and we just want to be careful and I'll explain this a little bit as we we go forward but but as you apply this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply projection and see how this looks. What you can see here is a few different issues. So we have it applied to our model, but, um, and I should, let me go to our layers. If we turn off our projection plane, and we select our object and our material. We have our new layer, and I, I should have uh, made it a little bit more clear. Make sure you have a new layer set up before applying. You don't want to apply it to your background. Uh, but just make sure you have a new layer. And now what we can do then is you can see that we have sort of this stretching applied to our, our model with this image. So what we then can do is we can use our eraser and we can erase this out or we can uh, put a layer mask on if you want to do it that way. But what you can then do is if you choose a brush, then you can start um, you know, taking away this this image, and we can go up to our. Let's see. Select our brush. We have our size. Make sure we have our pressure. 
and we can start, oops, not painting. Make sure we can start deleting some of this Uh, make sure we can start deleting some of this. Um, I'm actually just gonna turn off our layer mask. And I'll just erase. Let me just bring up the size a little bit. Just make it a little bit more straightforward so I can show you. So what we can do is then start deleting, uh, erasing this image around the belly of our, our character. And you can see where we have a few different issues. We can see where the projection plane kind of added in and uh, where it just didn't, because of our angle, we couldn't see this these little edges here so it didn't apply to those areas so this is just for demonstration but what you can then make sure that you um, you have your entire model or whatever you're trying to apply this to just be conscious of where that's laying down onto your model and so you just will have to use maybe a few different images and we'll apply that to a new layer. And then what you can then do is just kind of blend it in using the layer mask or the eraser. I'm just using the eraser real quick just to kind of show you how this works. And I just want to clean this up just a little bit. because I do want to show you one other thing using the projection is really good for cleaning up seams and you can't really see it too much on this particular model with what we have set up with these colors you know it's basically just a flat color but you can almost see the seam on the back a little bit and you can see some artifacting I think that's because of the the resolution of our mesh um, if I go to NB on your keyboard you can see that we're it's it's a pretty dense mesh at this point um, I was using sculpting um, NA to remove your lines Um, let's see here. Turn off our lines. And uh, I just want to clean this up a little bit so you can see. And you can definitely start maybe blending in some of these edges. And if you need to, apply another image in order to fill in some of the areas that you just didn't didn't really catch all of the entire area so I'm just kinda of cleaning this up real quick Okay, let's get this a little bit on the side here. So it's a very interesting way of working. Maybe you're not used to using images too much. And it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of like Photoshop in a way where you can kind of bring in an image and a texture and it kind of using some of these these modes that we have here, these blend modes, and applying these and seeing what kind of um, try overlay 
seeing what kind of effects that it might have to your, your image. And we can dial down the opacity a little bit if it's a little too harsh and it's a little too strong. You can kind of see that we apply that and we have a little bit of a texture to our model. Now, of course, you know, you want to go through and kind of apply this and a little bit in a cleaner fashion. But you can kind of get the idea of where I'm going with this is that you can then apply these images and textures using the projection plane. So say I want to make a, let me make a new layer and I'll just name this belly. And I will name this say, um, a color splatter and I want to get another green so say maybe this kind of olive color and I want to choose a different brush so let's go to brushes tab and um, well maybe the brush can be sort of like Let's apply a jitter and I want to make sure I'm on the right layer and I'm on a race so I don't want that <laughs> so let's go to our brush and just kind of apply our jitter okay you can see where we have this this seam on the back as I apply this this brush and maybe I can bring down the brush size a little bit and we can bring down the pressure a bit and it's a pretty cool effect you can bring in this brush and kind of give it sort of like a spotted uh, background, uh, excuse me, a, a kind of a spotted back. But we have these little, we have these like little seams here. So this is where projection painting comes in handy. So let's make a new layer and let's apply our, let's turn on our projection. Uh, projection painting <clears throat> excuse me and let's go to our uh, detach plane and now let's kind of paint in and kind of work this a little bit and we can choose a different color if we want but we can cover up this seam using the projection plane. Now, if we hit apply, you can see that's helping clean up and cover up that seam a little bit. And we can choose maybe a different color. We turn off uh, projection plane. And we can use the same layer, I think. Uh, maybe choose like a green here. Go to our projection plane. We can apply that onto our, our top here apply the projection and you can see that uh, a little bit better with this color you can see how that just kind of covers up that seam a little bit so if you were painting and you kind of run into that issue uh, let me turn off projection plane and um, 
let me turn on a new layer just for example and you're just kind of painting and you're just like you zoom in you can kind of see that seam that's where projection paint uh, painting will really come in handy to take out that seam um, with your projection plane on and I'm just gonna undo this But that is definitely something that you can um, you can then use a little bit of artifacting there. But you can definitely use when you have seams. And seams is just something that you really can't get around. Uh, you can minimize it by putting on put it putting it in areas where uh, you may not see very well, but say you have a more complex character and you have arms and legs and fingers you're just going to have some of those seams so that's where projection painting I think really comes in handy to taking out those seams and just giving your model a more professional look. I put a link in the description to download project files you can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.